One thing that I've always loved about Mario games are the endless amount of strange glitches that you can perform that really do change up the regular gameplay in some drastic ways. In today's video, I want to look at particular ones that happen when you lose a life or ones that cause you to lose a life. But the end result is usually the same. Something very weird happens. I'll try my hardest to include a few from each entry. That is, if there are any at all in them trying to find ones that have never showcased in past videos. Oh yeah, before I get started, my name is Copycat, and if you haven't yet then please subscribe to my channel, hitting that bell button to stay notified when I upload new videos. Starting of course with the first game in the entire series, Super Mario Bros. for the NES, there's one glitch that instantly comes to mind called Instant Game Over, which causes just that to happen. To start, you're gonna have to use the life gaining exploit until you accumulate 128 lives. As honestly, this is the easiest way to even do this. Next, all you have to do is lose one single life, which for some reason corrupts the game and forces a game over. Apparently this occurs because the game never expected players to gain this many lives, so it causes a data overflow, which is something that could happen in older titles. The only other glitch from this game I want to mention allows you to complete a level and die at the exact same time. To do this, you need to have only one life left and go to a castle level as you need both King Koopa and an axe to pull this off. This is because you have to touch both the axe and Bowser at the same time, which ends the level normally, but also makes it appear as if you're dead and it's game over, even though you're placed in the next level. The next game in the original trilogy is Super Mario Bros. 2, which has a death glitch that can occur if you touch a ladder in the wrong way. This happens in World 3-2, where if you jump on the very left side of the ladder, then descend, you'll die for some reason which really doesn't make that much sense. It's hard to say exactly why this occurs, as it doesn't seem like it would lead to this outcome. The final game of the original NES trilogy is Super Mario Bros. 3, where there's two specific glitches we're going to look at, starting with one called Death by P-Wing. This only works in the World 8 airship level, and is done by just flying as high up on the screen as you can, which will at times randomly kill you. Although, in about an hour of trying, I couldn't get this one to work, so if you guys can then please let me know in the comments below. Another death glitch from this game that requires a power-up is called Tanuki Mario's Death, and can be done only in World 5-2. What you need to do is be equipped with the Tanuki Statue power-up and transform on the specific slope. You know you've done it right if you get launched to the left and die immediately, which looks pretty gruesome. In Super Mario Land for the Game Boy, there's one glitch that doesn't lead to a strange death, but instead focuses on a very weird noise that can be heard if you die in a certain way. This can happen in level 1 of the Muda Kingdom, if you get hit by the Honan enemy at the exact same time as falling into the void. Just listen to the sound that's produced. The only main entry in the series for the SNES is Super Mario World, where there's one glitch that will instantly kill you if you jump the wrong way in Chocolate Island 4. I'm not sure why this random spot near the beginning of the level can cost you a life, but it's not exactly a place you jump regularly, so whatever. Another glitch that can cause you to die is called Spin Jump Through the Floor, where you can do just that near the end of Vanilla Dome 2. To get this to work, you have to collect the Buzzy Beetle and toss it at this specific set of blocks so that you can run and slide under them. Next, just hold down until the blocks become solid again, then press A which will cause you to spin and fall through the floor, which is kind of weird, but kind of cool. The second entry in the short-lived Game Boy series is Super Mario Land 2, where there's one glitch that allows you to kill enemies in a strange way. To do this, you have to be powered up with a fire flower and find a part of a level that has a straightaway with enemies scattered about. Next, you need to shoot the fireball to the left and run towards it, then quickly run right back to an enemy. You know you did it correctly if the enemy dies from the fireball that wraps around the screen. Something that for some reason tended to happen in these older games. Next we're going to look at the first 3D title in the franchise, Super Mario 64 for the N64. 
where you can die and freeze the game at the same time if you do something specific in zombie Mario form. If you watched my last video, this can be done by having 1 or 2 HP, being equipped with a wing cap, then getting exploded into a cannon in this section of bob -omb Battlefield. You know you did it right as you'll have 0 HP left, but you'll still be able to fire yourself and fly around the level. In this state, you need to go towards the island in the sky and ground pound on the star box, which will glitch things up completely, where you'll actually die from landing and also softlock the game. Super Mario Sunshine is the next big game in the series we're going to look at, where there's one strange glitch that causes you to die if you do certain things, then talk to an NPC. This can be done in Episode 7 of Pinna Park, where you first need to get your hat stolen by a swipe and stew, then run over and talk to the young looking girl near the park's entrance. If you don't forward through your conversation with her, and just wait it out a bit, then you'll slowly burn to death and die from a simple interaction. I'm not sure if this is supposed to be intended, as you do take damage from the sun if you don't have a hat, but I don't think you should be dying when you're talking to an NPC. One of my absolute favorite games in the franchise is Super Mario Galaxy, that came out for the Wii in 2007, which has a couple glitches I want to mention, starting with one called Death Roof. This takes place in the Luigi and the Haunted Mansion mission in the Ghostly Galaxy, where this specific part of the roof has an instant death spot. I'm not sure if this was meant to be a thing, as it is technically a spiked platform, but I feel like it should just damage you and not kill you. Another weird death that can occur in the Ghostly Galaxy takes place during the Beware the Bouldergeist mission, where if you long jump on a particular planet, then you can force an instant death. To do this, you need to make your way to the hollow planet with the bouncy core and clear the bombs so they don't get in your way. Next, you need to long jump in a certain area so that you orbit around the planet, and as long as you don't touch anything, you'll eventually inexplicably die for no reason. Next up, we're going to look at New Super Mario Bros. for the Nintendo DS, where you can die and complete a level if you do a few complicated things. First, you need to activate Challenge Mode by completing the game, then go to the Pause menu during the Overworld section and press L, R, L, R, X, X, Y, and Y. Second, you need to have the Mega Mushroom in your pocket by strategically collecting it under a platform in World 1-1. Finally, you have to go to the end of World 7-4 and place yourself so that the flagpole is barely visible at the bottom of the screen. Next, collect the Mega Mushroom and run to the end where you'll beat the level while also destroying the flagpole, which for some reason the game doesn't like and you'll die instantly. Moving forward now to the second Super Mario Galaxy entry on the Wii, there's a really outrageous glitch where you can actually die during the game's end credits. First you need to collect every star and defeat Bowser in the Bowser's Galaxy Generator so that the end credits start to play. Next you need to grab the Bee Mushroom and wait until the Freezy Flake Galaxy background appears and fly up above the screen as high as you can. If you did it right, then you'll die for some reason, and lose a life during the end credits of all places, it doesn't really make that much sense, but whatever. In Super Mario 3D Land for the 3DS, there's one death glitch that can cause you to die when you enter a warp box. This can only be done in the World 2 airship, where you need to get to the last warp box of the level, but don't enter it right away. Instead, just stand still and let the box scroll off screen, then quickly enter it, and it should teleport you into nothingness and cause you to die. Which doesn't make much sense as you think it would just send you to the next box, so it's a little puzzling. The final game we're going to look at in this video is Super Mario Odyssey, which is an entry where you don't exactly lose lives, as instead when you die you just lose a few coins. But it still has one weird glitch. In the Wooden Kingdom, if you've captured the Glidon, then you can clip through this one wall if you jump at it at the right angle. I've even seen people hide balloons in Luigi's Balloon World in this strange area, but otherwise, there's not much else to do here. Alright, that's gonna be it for today's video guys, I really hope you did enjoy this one. If you did, please leave a like, comment below what you thought about it, and of course, subscribe to my channel. Also, please go follow my Instagram at CopycatGamer, there where I upload some cool clips, and items from my collection that you won't see anywhere else. Hope you guys all have a good day, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye!